Hey everybody, welcome in. Pew! Stitch. What a great, great character. We've, I've finally got him unlocked and he is looking amazing. I've upgraded him, he's tier 4, I've got his abilities leveled up. So we're going to take him in for a bit of a showcasing. But let's first go over his kit and let's have a look at what we can expect and let's see if he's going to be good for you all. So to do that let's go look in here his basic ability now this is really cool I, I like the way that this is looking um every time uh stitch has a turn he can grow an arm up to a maximum of four so i don't know if this starts at zero and waits for his fourth turn or if he starts with two arms like he normally does and then he's got third turn he gets three fourth turn he, oh so second turn he gets three uh yeah and third turn he gets his fourth um, potentially I think that's how it might be I uh, will have to go in and double check on that and actually really focus on it uh, but each time he hits um, he's gonna hit the target go and give, give an attack to deal the damage um, a decent amount of damage as well he's, he's a pretty good hitter and then for each hit there is 20% chance to inflict defense down for one turn so that is pretty cool, and then when he starts stacking and doing more attacks, there's more chance to do it. Now that is good. And not only that, there is uh, a lot of um, tactics going around, so there's going to be a guaranteed chance. Now, with his uh, next ability, the old stop touching me, um, his ability, he is going to, this is, this is pretty crazy, he's going to deal a whole lot of damage. He is also going to inflict slow for two turns. Now, two turns slow is massive in this game. We've already been talking about how speed is king. Slapping away, taking away half of another character's speed is going to be massive. It's going to be massive. And then he's going to get 10% potency for each Oceanic teammate. So it's just going to give him more chances. Also, less chances for people to resist the slow. So it's going to be happening a lot with the more Oceanic teammates he's got. Then also, if Stitch has tactics, he gains evasion. Evasion is, is amazing. And then 20% speed meter for each Lilo and Stitch teammate. So that's a nice little bonus of just for his, his uh, movie crew. Um, and I like it. I like that a lot. And I like that he can be used outside of that as, as well. That's always good for team building, not to be locked into one team only. But to get a nice little bonus when you are using them with their team. So let's have a look at his next thing here. His blue punch buggy uh, deals a decent amount of damage and then uh, damage to the primary target is increased by 10% for each duration of defense down. So that, as you've seen, can start stacking with his main attack, then can start stacking more damage with this. And that, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that, uh, the way that, that works with each other. Now, his passive experiment 6 to 6. Each time Stitch receives damage, he receives through he recovers three percent health. Now that is good, and gains three percent speed meter, and then both um, uh, doubled on crit. So he's gonna get six percent health and speed meter. That is massive. The good and bads with this is that versus a full meta team with Shan Yu's, Shan Yu's gonna be if he gets a crit, Shan Yu's gonna be dropping his speed meter by what 20 20 percent or more 40 percent 30 percent um so the three percent is just gonna be like a little six percent it's gonna be a little offset i suppose at least it won't be as bad as it would have been and at least you'll get a little bit of health back but against the speed team the theory is against other teams i think this will work really well against like say the likes of shan yu we'll have to wait and see if he can compete like he will be able to fully compete with that kind of speed um, and then, not to mention, Big Hero 6 coming with even more speed boost than Shan Yu brings, then, hey, we will have to see. But, if characters give him lots of little attacks, I think he's going to be recovering a lot. So, he'll be really good against people who are not big hard hitters. So, that is a bonus. And then, uh, an enemy gains, when an enemy gains charged, 100% chance for Stitch to counterattack. And then, if he counterattacks, and stack some defense downs and everything else then that will be awesome so 
he's got a lot of potential here and he looks amazing like i, I love what the art team is doing really some cool things and they're putting the characters in some really cool positions and the animations just everything about this is awesome so let's go jump into club dungeon i've leveled him up so he's about level 35 so he's going to be under leveled so he's not going to be relative level to these characters but because of that we'll also see how good he can be uh with this so I've, I've slapped together an oceanic team i ran this one time for the first time on my stream so everybody could have a little look of uh, stitch and how he works with gantu and a little bit of davy jones which will be coming i'll do a video on some of these other ones in the future as well so they will have their showcases don't you worry uh but this is what we're going to be having a play with and we'll see how good stitch has and just remember he is under leveled so he's he will be doing a whole lot more damage when he gets to that level and more gear tiers. So don't you worry about that. Now, what he just did there, he went out and gave his lick. Um, I'm going to put this up two times speed and then one times down when it stitches to him. So, so uh, he has given out that two turns slow and that, that will end up being pretty massive, I think. Um, Ah, oh, silence on Stitch. But even if Stitch is silence, this is this is the thing. Even if Stitch is silence, boom, get that stamp. Now, even if he's silence, look, he's taken damage. He's got turn meter back, and now he's attacking again. And now, when he attacks, I'm gonna start building up his. Let's attack this one over here. He just gained an arm. So on the animation there, if you're looking closely, you can see he just gained an arm, and each one of them is attacking. Go do do do. So. That is that is a very very cool, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more about Stitch of that. And then you see you see the HP increase, even though he's taking damage. You see his HP and his speed meter going up, and he is taking he is getting his turns back really fast, really really fast. And that is that is amazing. Now I want to save this ability till there's some defense down, so I can stack some more damage on it. But let's attack this guy over here. And one, two, three, four. So there we go. He's got all of his arms out. I, I wish you could. He had some other kind of ability that spun him around that they could show it off. But hey, we'll do what we can do. Um, now I'm just gonna get the attacks out and get this popping off. Let's take down some of these characters. Look at all of the. Look at all of the knowledge as well. So I want to give a stitch a bit of shield, um, protect him here, and let's get Hook attacking, get some of those follows ups. Now I want to give some slow to this guy, um, and boom, man, he's just, when he's not getting attacked, he is going to be, I can't wait for his showcase, I'll be focusing on that, but it's going to be, it's going to be nuts. Do, 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 do. Man, he is attacking, so that's more than, so is he, is he attacking twice with each arm? That is cool if that's the case. I, I, I can, I can dig that. If that is the case, I can definitely dig that. Um, but, Stitch gets that evasion. Oh man, this is, he is such a cool character. Gets evasion, and, and he is, let's give him your black spot here. Um, but getting the evasion on top of him gaining speed meter and taking damage, this is this is pretty cool. I, I kind of I, I like where Stitch is going. I like I like what he's bringing to the table. So let's I'm just gonna keep popping off with Gantu here. Um, now we've got some defense downs all around. So let us see how much more damage he can do here. So six hundred to a five hundred. I, I I like that. Get some more shield protect. There is there is going to be a lot of potential to this team, and I I am excited to see what this team can bring. So for anyone wondering, yes, Davy Jones is a lot higher level in gear. He's gear tier five, whereas the other ones are not. So I am not going to. I will actually. Let's let's just attack. Do, 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 do. Look at all those. It kind of reminds me like a bit like Stitch. Um, 
So I'm just going to standard attack here. Oh, man. A bit like Stitch. What am I talking about? A bit like Zerg with his blaster. This is, uh, I, I like where this is going and the way things are happening here. So let's choo -choo -choo, give some uh, heal blocks. And I'm going to give some silence over here to this lady. Um, now, what I do want to see, Stitch isn't really taking, so the one way you can potentially really use this is if you can get, we'll use either hero or tank, give a Stitch shield or violet, and then taunt on him. So he is taking damage, he's going to be getting speed meter, and he will also be healing. There will be a whole lot of potential. I want to slow this guy here because he's got low speed meter. And then at least he's going to take a long time to get a turn. Um, but there, there is potentially a lot, of, a lot of extra potential out there for him with so many other team builds. And I like it. And then Stitches, boom, back again. He is so cool. I like his animations too. That is... That is definitely one great thing that they've got going for him. Getting, oh man. I, it's amazing that he gets evade as well. There's definitely going to be like an evade meter. So if I'm just stacking shields on him. If I'm stacking shields on him. Then let's. There, let's not block him out. Oh look at him. Oh he tips upside down. That is cool. Man, Stitch has so, he has so much potential. There, there is going to be so much in team building you're going to be able to do with him. And he's going to bring so much to the table. Like, it's going to be crazy. It is going to be crazy how good he's going to be. And not only for him and his blasters, so each, he's going to start off with two arms, then get a third arm, then get a fourth. So two turns later with normal attacks. And if he gets silenced, he gets silenced. And he's going to be doing more. And then when he gets called to assist because of his passive, um, when someone gains charged, he, if he's got all his arms out, if you use his abilities, so he's going to be attacking a lot, he's going to be dealing a lot of damage. And he'll deal a lot of damage to other uh, Gandus. Um, and, and that... He's going to do him, he's going to do dash, he's going to do hero, he's going to do uh, manticore. Like, it's like Stitch and um, Gantu are uh, opposing each other. And I really like that. So he's gaining charges, Stitch is attacking him, just like they're opposing. They're, they are together and they work together so well. But then they're also like enemies. And I like that. I really like that, and it's cool that we get a cool, different villain. But, Stitch, look at, err, err. <laughs> oh, what a cool character. The, the two-turn slow, the two-turn slow on his look is amazing, and being able to just pretty much have another turn again, and then the more characters that come with him, at the moment, with just Bubbles and Cobra, he'll automatically go straight back to 40%. That's going to be well on his way to having another turn, and we've seen how fast he is and how he gains turn meter. It's going to be amazing. When a full team of Stitch characters come, whether they're the other experiments, where they're the other professor, um, whatever, whatever it's going to be, 20% per character with four other characters around him, He's going to get 80%. He's going to be nearly having a turn straight away after this. It's going to be like another double turn skill. He's going to be nuts. Now, with this car, this is pretty much just like a damage for the sake of damage. It's almost better to use your basic rather than this to get all your arms so you can counterattack more when people are charging. Although if people don't have charge, just go for the, go for the special deal that damage when you've got those stacks of uh, defense down and I would hold it for one turn because uh, you might as well attack use your standard attacks because your standard attacks can give defense down and then once you've done that got you all your arms use this deal even more damage he's got so much potential his his health gain and speed gain that is massive 
that is massive and I can't wait to use them against someone that will be getting charges. That is going to be definitely happening in the future. Let me know what you guys think about Stitch down below. There will be more videos to come on the others, more showcases. So stay tuned. We will have some here for you.